Before we get to the video, please like and subscribe to the channel so that way you guys can get notified whenever I put up a new technique or a new shorts video. Check out our merch store, www.cckkmerch.com. On the merch store, we have, you can name it, t-shirts, workout apparel. Uh, we got hoodies, we got mugs, uh, we got all kinds of cool stuff. So uh, check it out and it gets directly shipped to you guys. Hello, it's Mr. Perez and today we're gonna be going over glancing wing. This is number 23 in the green belt series. Uh, this is against a left uppercut leading in. So we've dealt with a right, now we're dealing with the left. Yes. 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 As we are in a Nutribow already, that's how I start. I start this like if I'm expecting, we're in an altercation, we're ready to go. Side view, so you can follow me at home, you're in a right neutral bow, okay? So from a right, you're gonna block, forward bow, okay? So forward bow stance. From here, you're gonna check. As you check, you're gonna circle, pivot it back into your neutral bow. Then you're gonna wait or parry here as you move up. And then from the moving position, you're gonna hook and punch an elbow. Cross out. A unique technique because it's five swords moving from inside and outside of the body. Now you can stay on the inside and still complete the technique and that's one variation. So from here, I could go clearing the arm and staying on the inside and catch him that way. I can maintain the grab on the arm here the whole time, step in front, use my body as a fulcrum point while spraining the elbow or causing an elbow break. Okay, so there's different variations you can apply with this technique. The first variation I showed you is our ideal version, and then you can start taking on the other ones from there. All right, so glancing wing. First show you our ideal version, so that way you guys are learning it at home. You guys can practice this version, okay? And then I'll share with you a second version. Okay, so from a right neutral bow, as he comes in with a left uppercut, I'm gonna block and punch at the same time, okay? So there's a forward bow happening right here. Now from this position, I'm gonna slide down. As I switch my hands, I'm gonna claw and I can pull them in using my left hand. Not just checking, but anchoring and pulling them into the shot. Now as I re continue that motion of the circle, I strike them to the ribs. Here was a chopping punch. Now I'm gonna wait or parry and hook them in. As I move up the circle, chop them to the neck, pull them in like five swords and punch along with a glancing elbow. That's why it's called glancing wing. So I'm not just gonna punch him, but I'm gonna punch and let the elbow glance through him. In my neutral bow, he shoots in, block punches here. As I switch hands, I'm gonna, as there's pressure on this uppercut, he's trying to lift it up. I'm gonna switch and springboard it. Boom, right here. As I switch it, I grab and I maintain contact. Catch him to the ribs with an uppercut. Fold in, check, move up the circle. And now, once I have them here, I'm gonna punch, but let this elbow glance through. It's a variation you can do. Okay, it's another way of doing it. Dose the uppercut, block punch. You still spring up and pop them here. I strain, I strain his arm out. So as I uppercut him here, I'm gonna slide in front of his leg, and as I do this, there's an elbow break here. Wham. Thank you. Glancing wing. Leave a comment down below. We look forward to hearing from you. Follow us on Instagram. Just type in Central Coast Kempo Karate. Uh, we have a Facebook page as well. If you have any questions about private lessons or learning Kempo, you can always reach out to us on our Facebook or Instagram. Just message us and let us know if you're interested. Thank you guys for watching the video. We appreciate you all. Remember to click the notification button and we'll see you in the next video.